We're going to start out with my loadout recommendation for the birthplace of the vile Grandmaster Nightfall. So for weapons, I recommend two players run this loadout right here. The Wither Horde, Funnel Web, and Threaded Needle. Or just a Wither Horde, an SMG, and a Linear Fusion Rifle. You want Void, because Birthplace of the Vial has the Void Acute Burn, which will give you 25% bonus damage from your Void weapons. But obviously, if you don't have a Funnel Web, or if you don't have a Threaded Needle, um, you can substitute in a different Linear Fusion. It's just not going to do quite as much damage. So if you do have a Void, definitely use the Void. If you don't, it's okay. The Wither Horde is really, really nice. Um, and definitely worth the exotic slot because it's just really nice territorial control and it has really nice area of effect damage over time and it's really ammo efficient, which is really, really nice for GMs. It's especially incredible in the boss room because you have a ton of enemies spawning constantly and the enemy spawns are telegraphed with the blue mist. So it's just really nice to be able to see the blue mist coming in, drop a wither horde right on to that blue mist where the telegraphed enemies are coming in and it'll just instantly wipe out a ton of them. It's also really good for sustained uh, boss damage because that boss is particularly tanky. Uh, we have the SMG because we have Overload and Unstoppable Champions in Birthplace, and then Threaded Needle just because it's really solid damage for our heavy slot. The third player, you will want to have run that same Threaded Needle, but you want them to have a Divinity so that you can have instant overload stuns since SMG overload stuns aren't quite as reliable um, to get off and maintain. And then you'll want them to have a hand cannon in their kinetic slot along with an unstoppable hand cannon mod. This doesn't mean you'll only have one unstoppable player in your entire team, but since unstoppable champions don't really require continuous uh, maintenance like uh, barrier and overload champions do, it's perfectly fine to just be able to have one unstoppable on your entire team. Just make sure that player plays particularly safe and doesn't die too often. As far as subclasses, um, Void is incredible for Hunter. The invisibility makes a huge difference in that final room. I highly recommend Trapper's Ambush and Vanishing Step Aspects. Uh, for Titan, you can run Void Sentinel Shield is also really, really nice. Um, you can also run Thunder Crash um, if you want to immediately nuke the champions at the beginning of each boss DPS phase, or you can just do a solid amount of damage to the boss um, with your super. And... Uh, on Warlock, I would highly recommend Nova Bomb, the Cataclysm Nova Bomb, the, the big slow one, along with the Feed the Void and Chaos Accelerant aspects. You do not want Child of the Old Gods on the Warlock because the weakened debuff from Child of the Old Gods will override any Divinity debuff that you have, meaning you only have a 10% debuff instead of a 35% debuff. Also, Child of the Old Gods just isn't that particularly great in GMs. So hopefully this helps. Hopefully um, this kind of allows you to get your birthplace of the Vile Grandmaster clear a little bit more smoothly. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if it did so you can see more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one.